All right, welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about when skill becomes superpowers. And by this I mean something very specific. By superpower I mean any skill that can be applied in almost any situation. And this is not just my invention. People actually tend to use this word this way. Whenever you learn something and you realize that you can use it in any situation, it actually starts feeling like a superpower. And so I'm going to bring you a number of examples and I'm asking you to pay attention. Pay attention to a certain feeling when you realize that this skill can be used in any situation. You will notice a strange kind of psychological inversion taking place. But let's get started. This train of thought was provoked by a thinker called Jordan Greenhall in a podcast that I linked in the description below. Check it out. At a certain point he mentions the old saying that you can give someone a fish or you can teach them how to fish. If you teach them how to fish they will have fish for a lifetime. As it turns out he says this is, these are only the first two levels. There are levels above that and that's the mind-blowing part. So you can teach them how to fish but then you can also teach them how to learn or how to invent fishing. What approach to use to learn the rules of fishing from scratch. But then there is an even higher skill which is learning how to learn. So to know the process of learning itself and how you can apply it in any situation. And this is when we have reached the level of superpower. If you actually want to know the specific of learning how to learn, then listen to the podcast that I linked below. I found this pattern extremely powerful. So in the days following, I started looking around and thinking about it and taking notes of other situations where this might be applicable. And here is my report of the things that I found meanwhile. Maybe you will find others, please share them. So topic number one is the process of finding courage. Level one is Basically, you don't need courage, someone protects you. Then level two is if someone helps you and motivates you to stand up for yourself. So basically someone else gives you courage. Then level number three is you go through that process. You go through the process of finding the courage to stand up for yourself, which might be a long, laborious, psychological process of step by step getting closer to the thing that you're afraid of. But then if you have done that enough times, you will suddenly realize that the process of finding courage is the same in any situation. So you will have learned that whatever the situation, I can go through the process of finding courage. And if you let this sink in, you will suddenly realize that this has a very calming effect. It's kind of a it provides you a kind of meta confidence that even though you will meet situations in your life that will make you afraid, you actually have the tool set to approach those and find the courage to face what you're afraid of. Let's move to something else. Let's move to the topic of enjoyment. I've been reading a book that basically explained to me how the general process of enjoyment is. So level one is you just like something. It's passive. You don't have control over whether you like something. It just happens. And then something happens in your life where perhaps you were liking something, but then it became kind of boring. But you find ways to engage with it and keeping it interesting. And that's what is technically called enjoyment. And then the next step is to realize I learned to enjoy something that I didn't enjoy before. I might actually try to do that. So you consciously take something that you find boring, say some kind of music style that you don't like, and you consciously learn to enjoy it. So you pay attention to the details and uh, try to follow the patterns and so on and so forth until you start enjoying that piece of music. And then the last step is again realizing that the process of enjoying something is universal and you will have to read the book to be convinced it can actually be applied in any circumstance. Even in the worst circumstances you can learn to create psychological enjoyment. And then once you know that, again, a kind of inversion takes place, a kind of meta security emerges, which is this fact that whatever situation my life will bring me, I have the capacity to learn to enjoy it. So this gives you more freedom to choose what you want to do. Let's take another one, which is presence. So level number one is you just feel at peace just because, right? You just physiologically happen to be in that mood. Level number two is someone, someone gives you a guided meditation, leads you through the process of becoming present, becoming at peace. 
then the next level would be a meditation course or a meditation lesson where the person actually tells you the steps that you have to follow to become present, to become mindful, to become centered. And then the last step is to realize that these steps can be applied in any situation. And finally realize that no matter what kind of situations life will throw at you, you have this tool set that you can use. And so again, I ask you to notice the feeling that you get when you know that the, there is a skill set that you can learn that is truly context independent. Let's look at another one, habits, discipline. So you happen to have the habit of brushing your teeth. Someone taught it to you, but you just do it. On the next level is you actually want to learn to brush your teeth and someone trains you to do that. Someone comes and reminds you that you should do it, makes it attractive to you, makes, makes it easy, uh, gives you a reward in the end and bam, you have done it. Next step is that this person could actually teach you or maybe you read a book. I recommend Atomic Habits, for example, to train yourself to brush your teeth. All the steps I've mentioned before, you actually consciously apply them until brushing teeth becomes a habit. And then the last thing, this kind of sovereignty, this independence, this uh, emancipation, when the skill becomes a superpower is when you realize, actually, now I know that in any situation in life I might be in the future, I have the skill to find out the habits that I need to implement in my life and then implementing them. So I don't have those habits yet, but whenever I will need them, I can just do it. And so for the final category, creativity, let's say you happen to feel completely at ease and you start drawing and you don't care, you don't judge yourself. It's just a doodle, nobody is looking at you. and things just come naturally. That's again the situation where you are basically just lucky. Second level would be, okay, you feel a bit insecure, you feel a bit blocked, you're self-judgmental, but then someone encourages you, tells you things that make you feel better and then suddenly creativity starts flowing again. Because creativity in the end, it's all about that. It's about overcoming that self-judgment that blocks you and just letting what comes come and adapting it only afterwards. But then again, you have been lucky. This person just led you through the process. The next level would be if this person tells you, look, if you want to unlock your creative process, you basically need to stop judging yourself and you consciously go through those steps and you learn to get unstuck and the creative process begins. And then finally, again, the skill becomes a superpower when you realize that actually this is something that I can apply again and again and again in my life. Uh, if I decide to do something that's going to require me to be creative, even though I have some anxieties right now, some self-doubts, some self-criticisms, I know that there is a process that will lead me to produce something because my subconscious is always ready with some material. You just need to create the space, the non-judgmental space to get it out. And again, this is where creativity becomes one of your superpowers that you can apply in any situations. So that's it for today. Let me know if you found some other meta skills, some other superpowers that you can apply in your life. I would like to know about them. Please let me know. And I hope you found some value in this and see you again very soon, hopefully tomorrow. Bye.